Alrighty folks, hope you're all having a good day. Um, it's time for an, an update on our E46 uh, drift car project. Now, we've been doing quite a bit uh, recently on the inverter uh, for this project. Um, primarily because it is the first time uh, that I have tried to use the so-called combi board that I designed uh, based on the Hubner inverter and the purpose of that board is to basically replace all of the uh, control and transistor driving electronics in the ANOVA inverter and so far that's been working very well on on bench test and so we need to get it into the car so we can start spinning the, mo the motor uh, to make sure that everything is working right. So let's go take a look at the car and I'll walk you guys through what we have done so far. All right, so um, in the kind of engine compartment, I guess, um, the last time that you guys saw this, we had done the ABS delete and uh, reworked our brake pipes. Now, what you will see here is you will see the battery. Um, so basically there's a total of 10 modules here uh, for nominally uh, about 360 to 370 volts. Unfortunately, I cannot give you guys any detail on these particular modules. Um, because uh, the source that I obtained them from asked me to um, keep that uh, quiet just for the present time anyway. Um, but at some stage I may be able to give you guys more detail on what these uh, batteries are. But suffice it to say, uh, they will be more than enough for us to get some testing done. So... I have uh, fabricated a, fr a frame in there that's basically bolted into the chassis of the car and onto the former engine mountings. Now I did have one problem over here on this side and I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to spot it. Um, I thought I would get away with it but basically this bracket here is rubbing off the U-joint um, on the steering column so I need to basically take out the batteries cut that off and just make it a bit higher uh, not a big deal it's just a bit of metal work so that's pretty much the story um, underneath the bonnet so let's so let's go take a look uh, inside the car that's where things are pretty exciting at the minute so in the back seat area uh, you will see that we have our ANOVA inver inverter uh, now fully bolted into the car. And you will be able to see here, this is my custom designed um, logic and drive PCB uh, based on the, um, the open source inverter by Johannes Hubner. Um, so I've pretty much integrated everything onto the one PC, PCB uh, with the exception of the power electronics and uh, we're using the power electronics from the ANOVA um, inverter. All of this stuff that you see here is basically not being used at the minute. I'm leaving it in there because I might get to use it at some point. It's a DC to DC converter. So additionally to that, we have our 35 pin amp seal plug, uh, custom wiring harness um, going down to the front of the car. We'll go into that in, we'll go into more detail on that in a minute. Um, so let's run around the back here again to the far side. Have our motor uh, three phase power cable um, locked into the inver inverter encoder and motor temperature sensor cable um, also connect connected up i'm waiting to hear back to see if i can get a plug to go into this this is the dc power input um, and unfortunately i didn't get the plug uh, that goes into that uh, with the wiring harness um, so that's that's the inverter in guys so we're uh, 
pretty much bolted in here. The motor is connected up to it. Uh, the motor is physically, as we know, connected to the differential. Um, so as soon as we can put some power and signals to this thing, uh, we should be able to jack up the back of the car and see if we can spin the wheels. Now, up front, uh, we have a few more things going on. So, um, first thing we needed to do, this car was an, an older E46 and it had the uh, cable throttle. So I had to purchase a Hall Effect uh, electronic throttle and retrofit that in. Uh, not a big job because it's actually designed to fit the car so um, that was no problem to put that guy in in place of the cable throttle we've got our cable our well our electrical signal wire from it uh, coming up and around to join the wiring harness here so let's get into the car all right so this guy here as you can see is the wiring harness uh, that comes from the um, from the inverter all the way up to the front of the car. I left plenty of slack here um, in it, and I've got it all in this nice nylon webbing um, kind of a harness cover or something like that. And we have all of our wires here. Um, they're all individually labelled. And we've used a kind of a simple color code here whereby we've got um, red is 12 volts, black is ground, uh, gray is CAN bus, blue are outputs and green are inputs. And they're all labeled up and they're all brought up to this central point here. Now the idea is uh, my next step here is going to be to fabricate a switch panel here so all of these wires will lead into that switch panel and we'll then be able to basically go through here to bring the high voltage DC wiring back from the battery compartment as I'm going to call it now in the front of the car back along here and back into the inverter then the CAN bus uh, from the inverter uh, will hopefully be able to drive the the instruments uh, such as the taco, the um, temperature gauge, some indicators and so on on uh, pretty much a cheap uh, stock E46 um, dash because these are CAN bus driven uh, mostly. Uh, then we'll have a kind of a switch here a forward neutral reverse uh, type of a switch set up and then so down here then we've our two pedals we've our throttle pedal working away there now and our brake pedal and our hydraulic handbrake and uh, yeah so that is about it um, we've made a lot of progress here I'm getting really excited about um, getting this inverter powered up here in the car. I've been bench testing it, everything seems to work, the drivers work, they're firing the transistors, the signals are red and so on, but until we actually um, get to run the thing in the car here, we don't really know, so that's gonna be the next phase. So I gotta get the switch panel done at a bare minimum and get some uh, DC into this thing. Um, Need some contactors and pre-charge and some other stuff like that. Um, <coughs> but yeah, uh, that is kind of where we are at, folks, with our E46 drift project. Um, quite a lot of exciting stuff going on. Um, the Panzer is running really well. I'm going to have a video for you guys on that uh, as soon as I can. I've had some further health complications and so on. And been very busy recently so apologies uh, for the lack of updates uh, so yeah I mean even you know sitting in this car is really even just kind of fun now because I see you, you know uh, I've got this big motor here and I got a big inverter back here it's, yeah it's, it's kind of crazy um, 
it's kind of crazy but it's going to be fun um it's going to be a lot of fun to go when this car gets uh gets running uh which will be very soon now all right folks uh what i will say to you is um if you want some updates on things that i've been working on not covered in the videos don't forget to check out my instagram uh, i'll put a link in the description to that because i regularly post photographs and maybe short little 30 second video clips on things that i'm wor working on so if you want to stay up to date uh don't forget to check that out uh don't forget to subscribe and uh we will see you guys next time happy drifting